guys thank you for watching three hoodoo sisters um we've been getting a lot of people emailing us and texting us to do love work and that's awesome and that's great you know um i personally enjoy doing love work but i'm actually making this video because I just feel like I need to send out a message as a spiritual reader social media is good and it's also evil um, one aspect of your life I really feel like you need to keep as private as you possibly can and I mean even down to having a picture of your significant other I just don't think you need to share that with people I think there's two parts of your life that that should always absolutely remain private and that is your money and that's your love life especially when we're one of those people who seem to jump in and out of relationships or if we're just one of those people who's just finally happy to just be in a relationship. Um, I just don't think it's a smart move. I see a lot of people, especially on my social media pages, and I guess this doesn't always necessarily apply to people who are married, but this most definitely applies to people who are dating and that sort of stuff. I just think that you need to keep that to yourself. Um, there's a lot of people out there who don't want to see you happy. That's just the honest to God truth. So guys, I'm just going to go over what exactly is the evil eye and I'm just going to read it out of like a website. The evil eye is a human look believed to cause harm to someone or something else. The form of anything from a minor misfortune to disease, injury, or even death. So it's basically saying that like someone's gaze has like the spiritual power to basically mess up your life. And what's funny is it's not necessarily coming from the eyes. The eyes is your focus point, but mm, your eyes is also the gateway to like your soul. One way, if you really want to know how to read people, you read their eyes. I don't care how much someone smiles. If they're crazy, evil, mentally unbalanced, it shows in their eyes. Even when they're trying to hide it, it still shows. Selfishness shows in your eyes. Greed shows in your eyes. Envy shows in your eyes. So basically, it's just someone focusing their negative energy on you and sending it to you with their eyes. Like, it's really not rocket science. It's just basically negative energy being sent towards your way. And that's really all it is. I mean, I'm just calling it the evil eye. But really, some of us have a really bad case of the evil eye. Or just negative energy, like people hating on you. You know, we all have haters. I really feel if you don't have a hater, then you're not doing something right. But some people have like a ridiculous amount of people who hate on them. And so that that's why I'm not a big fan of social media and sharing what? The most sensitive thing about your life money and love so I don't believe people should have access to that because if they don't they can't hurt you well they can <laughs> but still it's harder if you don't know what's going on everybody just doesn't need to know everything that's just all this video is about and I'm you know I'm going to try to conclude it but before I leave y'all let me tell you the tea bitch okay so basically I had a client who could not keep a man to save her life okay she wasn't crazy she wasn't like there was nothing majorly wrong with her like even when you read her spiritually there wasn't anything like like devastatingly like damn this bitch is crazy or something like that um it wasn't like that excuse my language i curse i have a foul mouth um so it was crazy because she could never keep a man i mean they would literally stay a few months pull up their pants 
hand her back the condom wrapper and leave. And but the cards kept showing her as being stable. But let me tell you, the, let me tell y'all, I'm about to spill it. Okay, so come to find out, mommy had a really bad case of envious girlfriends. Her homegirls was hating. And she had one homegirl who was very spiritually strong. Like, she wasn't even practicing, y'all, but she just had a very strong spirit. Some people are just born with just more gifts than other people. And I think she, th like, her friend, her friend had, like, oh, my God, her friend was so jealous of her. Like, if she bought a brand new car, her friend would buy a brand new car. If she bought a dress from BCBG, she would buy a, you know, that single white female movie weirdo scary shit. And she thought it was cute because she liked the fact that her friend admired her so much. Well, her friend couldn't keep a man. And we all know why, because she was just psycho. Her friend was kind of psycho. So let me tell y'all, Anytime she got into a new relationship, within a few months, like maybe in like four to five months, sometimes a little bit longer. And I've been reading this woman for years. And I always told her, you have a friend who doesn't want to see you happy. And she wouldn't believe me. No, all my friends love me. We've been there for each other, you know, holding each other, crying and shit. I was like, well, one of your homegirls doesn't wish you luck. So, y'all, let me tell you what happened. Because <laughs> this shit right here is. So, finally, one day, she met this dude. And I think he was a fighter pilot. He does something. Um, but he was, like, stable. His kids were pretty much grown out the house. He was 10 years her senior, but he was really handsome. He was really feeling her. Um, guess what, y'all? So one day she was talking about um, how she met this amazing guy, you know, to her girlfriend who's, who's, who's a damn hater. And um, she said she turned around to put on her lipstick and she was holding her mirror and she turned around, y'all. And, ha and as she was putting on her lipstick, she looked at the reflection of her friend while she was still talking about this dude. And she said her friend had that whatever bitch look on her face. You know that look that another woman will give you when you a bad chick and you like walk in a room and she stares at you up and down like, uh, cause you competition. She gave her that look. She gave her that look like she walked in the house with some bad weed. She gave her that look like her poom poom was stank. Like she just gave her that jealousy look. And from that moment, she knew it was her. I kept telling her, you got a girl who's in your group who is not feeling your happiness and she's spiritually strong. So... She finally took my advice, guys, and she finally stopped telling this girl about her relationship. When her jealous ass, hating ass friend, who I don't think she was a bad friend, I don't even think she could really help how she felt because they had a friendly competition slash stalkerish slash whatever was going on there. Um, so she just stopped telling her about her love life and was like, yeah, we're not really seeing each other anymore. Well, guess what? Homegirl's engaged. Homegirl finally got engaged to that dude. You know why? Because she stopped telling that psycho chick all her business. And guess what? Your homegirl got the glass slipper and you still psycho and single. So it's kind of saying in the end, hating and sending all that negative energy doesn't really get you anywhere in the long run. So guys, your friends, not even your closest homegirl, needs to know all of your business. Because sometimes even the people who love you the most can't help but wish you 
ill will, just keep keeping it real. I mean, just being honest. 